Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to do an unboxing video. Well, it's a fan mail unboxing. This is the fan mail. This is the important one. This is just a couple things I ordered a couple weeks ago. This came in early. Came from California. Came in three days early. This came from California. Um, 45 minutes away from where this came from. This was a week late. Go figure. Let's check them out. Okay guys, so I got, got this here. We're gonna open this up first. We'll move these out of the way. I can tell you this is for my tractor. The orange one, the one that uh, Jerry, the guy that used to live across the street, gave to me a couple years ago. Um, this, this, in this bag is a tune-up kit. Open this up. We'll see what we got in here. This will be a video coming up. I've got a part for Monkey's tractor as well, the John Deere. Except uh, it's been raining and my garage is a mess, so I can't pull it in, do any work on it. Um, so I'm waiting on the rain to stop. We've been wanting to go boating, but again, it's been raining. We've got a shut off valve here. We've got a uh, new filter. I think I've got a couple of these in my drawer in there. Two new clamps. And two spark plugs. Why they gave me two, I do not know, seeing how it is a single horsepower. Um, single horsepower engine. It's just a 16, what is it, 16 horsepower? I think it's 16. And then we got our new air cleaner. So, and it should have a pre filter in it. Yes, it does. There's the pre filter, and there's your filter there um, mine's getting bad I, I lost my plastic piece that goes over this I don't know I don't I don't think I lost it I mean I think it's misplaced but so anyway <clears throat> there's those two items this item also came you guys might remember the video on this one um, also comes with another filter so I've got two filters I'll probably use that big one got a little zip tie we have our we've got our gaskets here two gaskets we've got our for our um, anti backfire valve um, <clears throat> what this does is when you turn the key on, you know, this just goes to ground and this just goes to a power. When you turn the key on, this is a little solenoid and it clicks and it opens up fuel and lets fuel come down inside of here. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, when you shut that off, it shuts all the fuel off because a lot of times when you shut them off and they're running wide open, you just go ahead and shut them off. Remember that engine's still turning even though there's no electric going to it. That engine's still turning for a few seconds, right? So it's still bringing fuel in and stuff. So this shuts the fuel off. And a lot of times when you do that, when you shut them off that way, even if they're idling, a lot of times when you shut them off and they go, and right right as they stop, as they shut off, you hear a bang. What it's doing is putting fuel into it. It's going into the hot muffler and it's igniting. Um, so that's that. So if your tractor's backfiring like that, it could be this not working right or dirty. Now the reason why I got a whole new carburetor because the other carburetor um, the carburetor itself is not bad. It's just the uh, little needle valve for the uh, for your float, the float valve. It's just a little needle valve and there's rubber there's a rubber tip on it and mine was real hard. Okay so it's not sealing right. So I could have got a needle and seat for it I think it was like 12 bucks. Uh, that was because I had to pay shipping. Parts itself was only two or three bucks. 
I got this whole thing for $18 now. You know, it is an aftermarket. Um, <clears throat> but what's on it's a, what they call it. It's a Nikki. It's a Nikki 6. And some guys like them. Some guys don't. I'm one of the guys that don't. I'd rather run one of these aftermarket Japanese or whatever. Wherever it's made. Things on it. Um, I've never had an issue with these. You know, knock on wood. But I've never had an issue with these carburetors. They've always seemed to work good for me. So I might be in a lucky one, but I know the Nikki sixes I've had usually the, the same problem. Um, you think the float's sticking here, you, you can't figure out why is it flooding out, the float's not sticking. That's because that little rubber rubber tip on that uh on the valve on the uh, needle where when the float comes up, pushes that needle up against the seat and well if that rubber gets real hard it can't seal so and you'll just keep getting fuel uh, mine would be all right um, make a few passes mowing the grass and then start running real bad chugging and smoking real bad and you reach up and you shut your valve off the gas the gas off I don't think it's got a valve I think I, what I did was unplug the uh, the uh, fuel pump and let it start running out of gas and then plug it back in and be all right so what it was doing was just building up fuel in there so um yeah that's that's what caused that so this should be all right this should be the one i need um we'll see i'll bring you guys along with me on this one it'll just be a, a carburetor replacement and i will when we replace this i'll take the old the old uh the old carburetor will take the bowl off, show you the needle and seat and show you what I'm talking about, where the issue lies in it flooding out. So there's nothing wrong really with a carburetor other than that, but um, they wanted like uh, right up the road here for the needle and seat, they wanted uh, like 12 or 15 bucks for it. And I'm like, man, I can just buy one of them. They're like, yeah, but it's not, it's not OEM. I said, well, that's good because you know what? I don't want OEM when it comes to the Nikki 6s. I don't like them Nikki carburetors. So anyway, I got a, on one of my videos, <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, it was, um, now I gotta try to find it again. It's a couple, uh, I think it was two weeks ago. I got a comment from one of my viewers and they say I'll let you know here it's called um, their channel name is have heart will travel this was two weeks ago sorry for caps because I capitalized the uh, when they were talking to me it says I have a brand new never used battery and charger for a Sony FDR AX uh, it says 533 so I don't know if that's five if it's a 53 but <clears throat> I'm guessing it would be but it said I would like to send it to you how can we make this happen I said well thank you very much you can send me an email at brunobear5000 at gmail.com and then I'll give you the info you need you're awesome thank you so much and they've been in constant contact this was supposed to be here Saturday okay now this came from Florida I'm in Florida um, I think they are within within an hour, hour and a half drive for me. And it was supposed to be here last Saturday, not this past Saturday, but last Saturday, it was supposed to be here. It just came today. <clears throat> so anyway, if you're watching this, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and open this up and we'll see. <clears throat> so this is the fan mail unboxing. Um, we're gonna go ahead and see what we got here. So that, I mean, that's very nice of them to send this and uh, I mean when you're YouTube and you know you, you can never really have too many batteries I've got so I've got four batteries now and, uh, and I use them all you know check this out all right this is so cool Alright, now go ahead and open this up. 
Uh, K-Star, I think that's the extra ones I ordered from my camera. <clears throat> this does look like the battery. Whoa, this is a huge battery. Wow, if this, <laughs> if this fits my camera, this is going to be awesome. I need to check this out. Battery for camera and camcorder high capacity. Yeah, no kidding, right? Um, I wonder how many I should set right here. 7.24, volts, 5,950 milliamp hours. Let me see what, let me grab my other camera, or my other battery. Now this is, this is the battery out of my other, my old camera, the one that uh, got broke. Um, so hopefully this will fit. It looks like it. Look at the difference in them. This is a, uh, if I can read it to you, I can't remember what, I used to know what this was. Um, this is 1900 milliamp hour. This is uh, 5950 milliamp hour. Okay, so. And this is the charger for it. So let's open this up. Again, thank you very much for sending this to me. This is awesome. Because um, these batteries I can get, uh, let me see here, I'll tell you. Like right now, I've got an hour and 26 minutes left on the battery that's in the camera rolling right now. Um, so it's down, it's down one bar. Uh, so I can usually get, and I've done some filming with this, but not much. So I can usually get about uh, two hours out of that if if I'm not using night vision. If I'm using night vision, that knocks down almost half. Um, but now the the ones I ordered, my extra ones, they're smaller than this. I'll I'll go get one of those. Uh, these are aftermarket. They're not Sony. And these are these are 2540 milliamp hours. What I say this one was 1900. So this battery in theory should outlast the Sony battery, but it doesn't. Uh, I do have two of these in the charger. Now, these these little ones, like I said, they're, in theory, they should outlast them because they're they're supposed to be 2,540 milliamp, and the Sony is 1,900 milliamp. But like I said, these will run down a lot quicker. I can I can get about an hour and 20 minutes to an hour and a half on these without night vision on these ones here. So I've got plenty of batteries, but uh, okay, and I do believe my charger. So what's this battery? The battery is B BM. To, it's a BM. I thought it was a K Star, but um, the uh, K Star. I I have the same charger, so if this will fit in here, then I'll know it'll fit my camera, and it does. So I know this battery will fit my camera. This is freaking awesome. I'm gonna plug it in right now. And, um, but that's their channel name, Half Heart Will Travel. Now, I'm not going to give out their uh, email name or their real name just in case they don't want to be known, but that is their, their channel name. And again, I really appreciate it. And they've been in contact, you know, has it come yet? I hope so. And I, I had to graciously tell them, no, it, uh, uh I have not received it yet. So, um. Okay, so there's the, there's the, the um, this is the aftermarket, this is the Sony, and this is the K-Star. So that's, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't even know how they could even figure this little battery, I mean, look at the size difference on them. That this little battery, which like I said, the little ones I would use 
because I only had three until I got the new camera. And then, of course, since I'm not using my old camera, which is the same exact one as this, um, I just using the, the, the battery out of it so it lasts longer. But these were just for backup. But I, I mean, how, how do they figure that, you know? Lithium lie ion, so I mean, yeah, but yeah, there's no way this lasts. Um, but see, it even says for Sony, but it's not from Sony. See, this one says Sony right on it, and this one just says for Sony BM. So, but uh, I mean, yeah, it, it works fine, it just doesn't, you know, and shelf life on it's awesome on all these these batteries the shelf lives are are very very good on them um, but one, like I say uh, if you're using this thing this little battery here with night vision uh, you might get an hour an hour out of it um, and also I've got hot shoe mount on this camera so if I was using a mic or a light you know the hot shoe what it does is power that so you don't need an extra battery it just uses the onboard camera battery so it would really run them down which I'm going to get one since I get the extra money I am going to either get a light or I'm thinking about getting one of those mics that go with this thing they're very pricey but <clears throat> they're starting to come down but like I said they don't take their own battery they use the the battery from the camera itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this puppy on the charger look at that thing <laughs> I mean you guys see that? <laughs> it's almost double. So I'm going to put this on the charger, let it charge up. And I'm going to put it in the camera here. And plus I'm running 4K. Now, if I wasn't running 4K, if I was just running 1080p, uh, you know, I could get a couple hours out of, like, this battery. I could probably get an hour and a half out of this one as long as I wasn't running night vision or anything else. Um, but I run... I film in 4k so that really takes the battery and my memory down you know uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and I'll be back with you when I got this in that camera okay guys so I have the battery that was sent to me in the camera right now I couldn't wait on it to get fully charged because uh, I'm excited but right now I'm looking at an hour and 57 minutes and it's down one bar the same that this was down one bar and right before I changed the batteries over this is a an actual Sony battery this had one hour and 11 minutes left on it like I said that's in 4k so uh, if I'm running in 1080p it it's almost double like I said that's without the night vision or anything else running off this um, so that batteries <laughs> That battery is so cool. Um, wow, I, I just—I don't know what to say, man. That is so cool. Um, so now I have four batteries or five batteries all together, and this is the battery that's going to stay in this camera. Um, wow, that's amazing. So there's my uh, fan mail unboxing and my carburetor and tune-up kit. Stay tuned for those. And again, have heart will travel. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate this. Um, I could, uh, you know, with with the battery that's in there now, the one you sent me, and the other four I got, I, I could I could film all week probably because uh, I don't do a lot of time lapse or I don't do a lot of um, um, B roll. You know, to me, people don't watch my videos for B-roll. That's why some people say, well, you talk too much. Well, you know, I just can't get on there. I like to talk to you guys because I really appreciate you watching and supporting my channel. So I don't like to just, you know, just not talk, not even say thank you or anything like that. So I do talk, and I talk a lot. Well, I'm sorry, but I do because um, I feel like you guys are, are here with me. Um, but like I said, uh, I got three um, 64 gig cards. Um, I can I can go up to uh, what is it, 124 in this camera, and things are expensive. But I got three 64 gigs gig cards, and even on 1080p, 
I would probably run out of memory before I ran out of camera or before I ran out of battery battery life now so man again thank you so much and thanks to everybody for watching remember we got Halloween coming up so that's gonna be a treat and um, but yeah so again thank you so much I appreciate it and I appreciate uh, everyone that, that sends me stuff you guys are all awesome and thanks for watching I really do appreciate it and um, we'll see you guys in the next one Shea Bear the myth the man legend I'm gone for now We'll see you guys soon. Bruto's bark. Bye-bye. <laughs> Stay safe. And uh, take care, everybody.